Hello and welcome back. We're back at the woodshed today and we're going to talk about the Femi X8 Mini maintenance mode. Uh, every once in a while you have to do some maintenance, especially with the battery. Sometimes a cautionary warning will come up that your battery's out of balance or it's not charging properly and you have to do a recalibration. Well, it's not a great big thing. Um, you don't have to do it but it's advisable you do do it. So today, that warning did come up and we're gonna go through it step by step. How long it takes, what to do, what to look out for to get through it, and how long it takes to recharge the battery afterwards. Okay, so this is my experience today, what happened when I started up, how I got the warning, and what we did from it. So go through the video, particularly watch for the percentage of battery and the temperature of the battery, okay? Hope you enjoy it, hope it's helpful. Let's get to it. Yeah, it was kind of an odd thing today. I wasn't expecting it, but uh, I was just gonna go for a flight. But I just went through my normal process and went through my checklists and found that everything was correct. When I went to the battery, I came up with this, this little warning. Uh, to update my battery. It's also known as the recalibration. Um, maybe the cells aren't balanced properly or whatever and Femi tells you to bring it down to zero and then charge it fully back up again. So that's what we're going to do today. I've got 21 cycles on the battery so let's go through this and see what happens. Up it goes. Now I'm not going to bore you with all 15 minutes or so of flight, but uh, let's fast forward all this and uh, get to the end. Watch the battery. Watch how many times that uh, connectivity sign goes in and out in all of this. See, it goes in and out all the time there. We're trying to get down to about 15% so we can let it sit, and that's the danger of letting it sit. Uh, is it going to overheat? So, another issue is going to come up right about here. As you can tell, I'm bringing it down for a landing, and I'm less than 10 meters away. If you look in the manual, you get this diagram that tells you if you're less than 10 meters away, it's going to go back up and do an auto land, basically, and because your battery's so low. No matter what you do, if you let go of the sticks, that's what's going to happen. So just be cautionary of that, okay? And what we did, we just manually brought it down, and I let it land in my hand, and we brought it in for a nice landing, or a catch, if you will. So you'll notice we started bringing it down about 15% and by the time we did get it down it was 12%. Uh, that's okay. Anything between 10 and 15% is fine because it does take a long time to get it down to zero. Okay. Now it's just sitting on the bench and you'll notice some numbers here about the temperature and about the uh, cell voltage and all that kind of stuff and the temperature goes up and down, up and down. Well, it's because I stood over it with my leaf blower to get the temperature down. I didn't want it too much over 40%, 40 Celsius. At 0%, it automatically turns off. Now, that was unexpected. It automatically turns off. The X8SE didn't do that. That's a great thing. Okay, so that's it. What did we learn? The funny screeching sounds at the end there just before it went to zero and that fast forward little interval there, that was the leaf blower. Okay, my row, my row, blah, 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 blah. yeah, speak properly, buddy. My Ryobi 40 volt leaf blower. I had to use that to lower the temperature on the batteries. They were getting up over 40 degrees Celsius, which I think is getting kind of high. 
I know it said at some point it was 41.2 or 41.3 and it was still registered as normal, but to me that's a little high. So I used the leaf blower and it brought it down drastically and we, we got through it. So from the 12% to get to 0%, it took about half an hour, almost a half an hour, okay, 25, 26 minutes, okay. Then I let the battery cool for maybe 10 minutes, then plugged it in, and it took a good just over two hours, two hours and 15 minutes to charge it back up to full, okay, and we're back up to 100% again, okay. So I hope that was helpful. I hope everything worked out well for you. I hope we all learned something and we can get on with flying. So hopefully this afternoon I'll get in a flight and we'll have a good time, okay? So that's how to recalibrate your battery when the warning comes up. I only had 21 cycles through the battery and I remember this coming up with the Femi X8 SE and that's what Femi told me to do. And this time they put it, the instructions actually in the app, which is great, okay? So that's one positive thing. It lets you know when things are going wrong. I wish they'd tell you when things are going right. Anyway, let's see if we can get some more consistent, inconsistent flights, okay? See you in the next one. Bye now.